In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with viewports in AutoCAD. We'll be establishing uh, layer settings. So in one viewport, a layer will be turned off, whereas in another one, it will be turned on. Um, basically, what you'll be producing is an image that looks something similar to this one that you see here. There are four viewports, and if I double click in each one, I can enter into those viewports and there is a single sheet here. Now this is the finished product. But what I'm going to do is start with the model space work. So I'm gonna click on the model tab down here. And what you'll notice in my model space is that this is the only thing that appears. In the finished drawing, it looks like there are multiples of each of these, but actually the only thing that we have in model space is this. So this small orange figure is actually this one right here. I've just zoomed in much closer to it. Okay. So the subject that we'll use to work with this idea of scaling and viewports is um, fractal patterns. Fractal patterns are naturally occurring patterns that typically start with a basic unit and they regenerate, uh, often changing in scale or in direction. Um, what I have set up so far are a series of layers, one, two, three, four, and I've assigned colors to those layers. I started by drawing the base unit here, and then I began to make duplicates. Okay, so this will be the base one. This is going to be layer two. This light blue will be layer three, and this purplish blue will be layer four. Once I have the model constructed, then what I can do is begin working in paper space or layout view. So I'm gonna start with a layout that I haven't finished. And what I have here is a single viewport with the model image showing inside it. I'm gonna zoom in a little closer here. So as I had shown you on the finished layout, I actually have four viewports. So what I'm going to do is create four to create a viewport, what you want to do is go to the Layout tab, which is right here. And you'll see under Layout Viewports some options. Rectangular is the most typical of them that you would use, and that's the type that I'll use for this one. All right, now I'm going to start by making a viewport in this lower left-hand corner. Okay. Uh, so it's asked for me to select some points. I'm going to add endpoint and intersection to my object snaps. And then I'm going to select this point right here. Click. All right. Now, in order to make my viewport a specific dimension, I'm going to type in some, um, some text. I'm going to say first the at symbol. And then I want my little viewport to be three by three. So I'm gonna type in three comma three, enter. All right, so it's created a viewport and it has zoomed to the extents of the content in model space. All right, now I'm gonna need four of these. So what I'm gonna do is I could go and, and use the same process of creating them, but I think it would be easier to just make copies of these viewports. One here and I'll make copies of these two here. I'll snap from this corner to this corner. So now I have four viewports on top of the big one. Now I don't need the big one anymore, so I'm going to click on it and I'm gonna delete it. All right, so I'm left with these four viewports. Now, now that I have them sort of set up, now I can start to work with the scale. If I double click in this first one here, right, this orange one is the one that I wanna show. I'm going to pan so that it's kind of in the center of the viewport. And then I'm gonna look for a scale that will work with this viewport. Now, this is a three inch by three inch viewport, three inches wide by three inches high. So, Ideally, that first unit is just a little bit smaller than three by three. And that way it'll fit well within the viewport at a scale of 
one to one. Okay, I'll press escape so that I'm no longer in the pan command. And then if I go down to the bottom of the screen along the status bar, I'm going to see uh, a place where I can adjust the scale. So I'm going to select that arrow and choose one to one. Right, and it looks like I'll have to use pan again to kind of get that centered and in place. Okay. All right, so now if I go to the next one, um, what I want to show in here are these, these parts of the pattern. So again, I'm going to pan until it's approximately in the center, press escape, go down here and look for a scale that will fit nicely in my viewport. Now, I think that that's a little bit small, so I'm going to try to go with another scale. Let's try one to two. And again, pan till you get that approximately centered in there. Okay, this one here, I'm going to pan for this group. And I'll place that there like so. Press escape. And I will look at a scale of one to four for that cluster, and again, try to center my fractal pattern in the viewport. Okay, and this one just needs a slight adjustment to scale. Let's try one to eight. Okay, now depending on the, the fractal pattern that you choose, these scales might not work, but you need to find one that is included in the preset scale, so you might have to vary from the, the scales that I've just used. Now, one thing that you can see is that there are layers appearing that don't appear on my finished layout. Okay, so you can see from this one that the, the magenta color is not showing. So I'm going to go back to the layout I was working on. What I can do is turn layers off in this viewport only. I'm going to enter the viewport and I'm going to bring up the layer manager. All right, so what I want to do is turn off the layers just in that viewport. If I was to use the, the on-off um, icon here or the freeze thaw here, it would turn them off in the entire drawing, but I just want to turn them off in this viewport. So what I'm going to do is go over to the right here. And this setting here controls the layer, whether it's on or off in that viewport only, and I'll click on that. If I move this out of the way, what you can see is that this the, uh, the layer is turned off in here. So technically, layers two, three, and four should be off in that viewport number one. Okay. Now this one here, I want to turn off two, or I want to leave on two, and I want to leave on one, but I want to turn off three and four. So I'm going to turn off three and four. Likewise, in the bottom ones, you'll, you'll repeat the same process up here, double click in this one, turn off uh, layer number four, okay, and in this viewport all of them will be on. Now the only thing I need to do now is to add some text to indicate the scale for each of the viewports. Um, I've exited the viewport by double clicking in an area outside of the viewport. I've chosen my text style that I'd used previously for making text. Um, this is on the annotate tab, and I'm going to click on single line. You could use multi-line text as well, it doesn't matter so much. I'm going to choose justify. I want my text to be middle center justified, and I'm going to then specify the height, 0.125, rotation angle 0, and my first text is going to be one-to-one, -one, my first viewport, rather. Okay. Click on that text. Um, one thing that I've noticed is that my layer is incorrect. I'm going to change that from layer zero to gtext. Okay. I'm also going to precisely place that text. Let's zoom in a little closer so you can see better. If I click on that text, my middle center justification point is right there. I'm going to click on it and 
I will add a midpoint to my object snaps and temporarily I'm going to place it at the middle of that line right there. Then I'll select that justification point again until it turns red. I'll use my um, tracking lines and I'll, I'll move the cursor downward and I'm going to move it a distance of an eighth of an inch or 0.125 and then press enter. And so now what I can do is then copy that text in all the positions, copy from here, one, two, three, four, I then double click on the text to change its scale. You know, you want to use the scale that you happen to use. So if you don't remember, just double click inside the viewport. It'll tell you it's one to two, and then you can adjust the text. And that's it.